Let me show you today how to make a fruity Christmas tree bread, which I hope will grace your Noche Buena table this year. Let's get started. For the fruity Christmas tree bread, you need one and one fourth cups of full cream milk. You warmed it to 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. One tablespoon of instant dry yeast. One fourth cup sugar. One half teaspoon salt. Two eggs. One half cup butter. Four cups all-purpose flour. One half cup diced orange peel. One half cup glazed fruits. One half cup raisins. For the glaze for the fruity Christmas tree bread. We have one fourth cup of butter. You melt the butter. Two tablespoons of light corn syrup, or you can use honey, and two tablespoons of powdered sugar. I warm the milk. We will add the yeast. And then we have the sugar. Then we have two whole eggs. Mix this together and then we have flour. You can use all purpose, you can use bread flour. And then we're going to mix this. We will mix this for two minutes to allow the liquid to pick up the flour and we will be able to form a dough. After that, we will uh, mix it for another six minutes. I forgot to add the salt. You add the salt last after the flour. Here you can see after two minutes that this has formed the dough. So we will mix this for six minutes. After six minutes, we're going to add the butter. And we're going to mix this for another two to three minutes. Or until we get the window pane. Here's our dough. Uh, before we finish this, we're going to add in the glazed fruits and the diced orange peel. If you don't have or uh, diced orange peel, you can just double the glazed fruits. Or you can use uh, glazed cherries if you like. And then let's mix. Always add the fruits or whatever nuts you add in last when you make a dough. I'm going to finish this with about two tablespoons of flour so it will be easier for us to handle. Alright, we can do the window paint check. You pinch off a small portion of the dough and then you slowly stretch it with your fingers. If you can stretch it thinly without it tearing like this, then you know that you have achieved the window pane. It means that you have developed the gluten, all right? So let, let's take this out of the bowl. Then let's prepare a bowl. You grease it with oil or with shortening or with butter or whatever, as long as you have a grease. Brush the top with oil so it does not dry out including of course the mixing bowl and then let's cover this with plastic it's very important that you cover this so that there is no draft or air so that it will not form a skin you let this ferment for about one hour if you don't like to use plastic you can use a damp towel or you can cover this with a baking pan or with a plate here is our dough after one hour it has doubled in size so let's portion this I'm going to do 30 gram portions all right and then you form them into smooth balls like this okay and then we'll continue with the rest let's start to form our Christmas tree all right so we'll start you give it space because uh, the dough will rise this is how our Christmas tree should be formed. After this is risen, they're going to stick together. All right. So let's uh, proof this for about 45 minutes to an hour. Here is our fruity Christmas tree bread. It's already double in size. So let's brush this with egg. You can use milk. And then let's bake this 
in a 350 degree oven for about I would say about 20 minutes but we will just check because because remember I always tell you that the uh, baking time that I give is only approximate it's not really exact because it varies from oven to oven it also depends on uh, how big or small your oven is or how much you have inside your oven so it's only used as a guide while this is in the oven we will start to make the glaze if you don't have egg you can use milk also milk will work milk will give you a shinier finish egg will give you a browner finish uh, a combination is the best you mix together egg and milk equal amounts this goes inside the oven for the glaze for the fruity christmas tree bread we will just mix this together first i will melt the butter butter sifted powdered sugar and corn syrup or you can use honey there are two glazes that you can use for this you can make a thicker version of this this one is something that you brush it's just a glaze if you want to make an icing then make a confectioner's icing glaze i will show you how to make that later so you have an option all right let's set this aside and wait for the bread to come out i have many recipes to share with you if you're interested please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded as soon as it comes out of the oven apply the glaze remember the uh, butter honey or uh, light syrup and the sugar okay immediately while it's still warm apply the glaze by the way do not be surprised if you cannot make perfect uh, circles or rounds with this bread it's because of the glazed fruits and the raisins but we're going to decorate this oh by the way uh, if you don't want to make a Christmas tree you can put them in muffin pans just form them into balls and put them in muffin pans they will come out very very nice too I just shaped this like a Christmas tree because it's Christmas I'm just going to use up all the glaze remember glaze it while it's warm so that it's nicely absorbed and your bread doesn't come out soggy because if you brush it when it's already cold there's a tendency for it to become soggy okay let's cool this down and then we'll finish decorating we will decorate the uh, uh, Christmas bread with this is powdered sugar and water for every cup of powdered sugar you add one uh, two tablespoons water I have here two cups you just add it very gradually until you get the consistency you like there is no specific recipe for this just use water and powdered sugar that's it make sure you sift the powdered sugar by the way you don't need this much you don't have to make this much all right this is the consistency that i like and by the way you don't have to make this much i'm going to use this for another project so i just doubled the recipe one cup powdered sugar is enough and then to make it easy i'll put it in a squeeze bottle if you don't have a squeeze bottle don't worry you can always put it in a plastic bag and then just uh, make a small cut all right here right and then we put some decoration I put I put another layer of icing so that I can stick the decors these are glazed cherries right and then we will decorate this with some gold balls these are uh, edible 